Welcome to our exploration into a realm that has fascinated humans for centuries, the enigmatic concept of the third eye. Across different cultures and ages, this mystical entity has been revered, feared, and sought after. Today, we delve deep into the lesser known aspects of opening your third eye, shedding light on truths often shrouded in mystery. This journey isn't just about unveiling secrets and understanding the complex implications of what it truly means to open the third eye. So let's start on this quest together with an open mind and a sense of curiosity as we uncover the dark truths that no one will tell you about this ancient and profound concept. Before we look into the depths of the third eye, let me set the stage for our discussion. This video is not just another mystical guide promising spiritual enlightenment. Instead, we aim to offer a balanced, comprehensive view, blending historical wisdom with modern perspectives. Whether you're a spiritual seeker or just someone intrigued by the mysteries of the mind, this exploration is for you. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding the true nature of the third eye is key to using this power wisely. What is the third eye? The third eye is a term that conjures images of mystics, sages, and spiritual awakening. But what exactly is the third eye? Historically, it symbolized a higher state of consciousness, a gateway to inner realms and spaces of higher wisdom. Originating from ancient Hindu and Buddhist traditions, the third eye is often associated with the pineal gland, located in the brain which some believe to be the physical representation of this metaphysical concept. In these ancient cultures, the third eye symbolizes enlightenment, the ability to see beyond the physical world into a deeper spiritual reality. Fast forward to the present and the third eye has found its place in modern spirituality and new age practices. It's often depicted as a gateway to psychic abilities heightened intuition, and a direct connection to the universe. People are drawn to opening their third eye to achieve these mystical experiences. But this modern interpretation comes with its fair share of misconceptions. It's romanticized, sometimes overly simplified and often commercialized, losing much of its profound and complex nature. While we look into this subject, it's important to distinguish between the traditional, spiritual understanding of the third eye and its more contemporary, sometimes commercialized version. The third eye is not just about seeing visions or predicting the future. It's about expanding consciousness, the ability to perceive and interpret the world more profoundly and interconnectedly. This deeper understanding requires an open mind and a grounded approach. Blending the mystical with the practical, the ancient with the modern. In the upcoming sections, we'll explore the allure of the third A, the psychological and physical impacts, and the darker aspects often left unspoken. The allure of the third eye. Let's focus on why the third eye holds such an irresistible allure. Throughout history, humans have always been drawn to the unknown, the mystical, the realms beyond our ordinary experiences. The third eye is no exception. It promises a journey into the depths of our consciousness, a peek into a world beyond the tangible. People are fascinated by the prospect of accessing higher wisdom, experiencing heightened intuition, and connecting with the universe on a deeper level. These are compelling reasons, aren't they? After all, who wouldn't want to explore the untapped potentials of their mind? The third eye is a gateway to a more profound, spiritual existence in our fast-paced, often materialistic world. It's an escape from the mundane, an entrance into a world of enlightenment and inner peace. Stories of spiritual awakenings, psychic abilities, and transformative experiences further fuel this fascination. The idea of opening the third eye taps into our innate desire for growth and understanding, for something beyond the ordinary. But it's crucial 
to approach this with a sense of balance. While the allure is undeniable, we must also be aware of the potential for misunderstanding and misinterpretation in our quest for spiritual enlightenment. The Psychological Impact When we further, it's important to address the psychological impact of third eye practices. These practices, often deeply reflective and meditative, can profoundly affect our mental state. For some, the journey towards opening the third eye can lead to greater self-awareness and mental clarity. It can be a path to understanding the deeper layers of one's psyche, leading to a more harmonious inner life. But this is not always the case. For others, the intense focus on unlocking the third eye can lead to psychological risks. These include disassociation, where one feels disconnected from reality, or escapism, where one avoids dealing with the practical aspects of life. In some cases, pursuing spiritual awakening can set unrealistic expectations, leading to disappointment or failure. It's essential to approach third eye practices with a grounded mindset, understanding that spiritual exploration should complement, not replace, our engagement with the real world. Mental health professionals often emphasize the need for balance and caution, especially for those who may be more susceptible to psychological challenges. In this light, the journey towards opening the third eye should be careful exploration, not reckless pursuit. It's about finding harmony between the spiritual, practical, mystical, and rational. As we continue, remember that this journey is as much about understanding our limits as it is about exploring our potential. In the next sections, we'll dive into the physical repercussions and the spiritual risks associated with the third eye, further unraveling the complexities of this fascinating concept. Physical repercussions. While we've talked about the psychological aspects it's equally important to consider the physical repercussions of third eye practices. The journey towards opening the third eye isn't just a mental or spiritual endeavor. It can have tangible effects on our bodies. On the positive side, many practitioners report feeling more energized, experiencing improved concentration and enhanced physical well-being due to their third eye meditation and other related practices. These benefits are often linked to regular meditations, deep relaxation and stress reduction. Some individuals report physical discomforts like headaches, dizziness, or pressure in the forehead area, often attributed to third eye awakening practices. While these symptoms are usually temporary and not harmful, they can be disconcerting. It's important to listen to your body and not push too hard. Medical professionals advise you to seek medical advice if you experience any persistent or severe physical symptoms. The key here is moderation and understanding that physical responses can vary greatly from person to person. The spiritual risks. Now let's look into a topic often glossed over the spiritual risks of opening the third eye. This aspect is crucial yet it's rarely discussed openly. Pursuing spiritual enlightenment through the third eye can sometimes lead to an imbalance in one's life. The allure of mystical experiences can become so strong that it overshadows other important aspects of life, such as relationships, career, and personal health. It's essential to remember that true spiritual growth is holistic and doesn't neglect any part of our human experience. There's a risk of becoming ungrounded or overly detached from reality. Some individuals might find themselves lost in their spiritual pursuits, struggling to integrate their experiences into everyday life. This can lead to isolation or disconnection from the world around them. It's essential to approach third eye practices with a grounded mindset, ensuring that your spiritual journey enhances rather than detracts from your daily life. Spiritual teachers often emphasize the importance of staying connected to the physical world, 
even as you explore the metaphysical. The misuse and abuse of the concept. It is important to discuss how the third eye may be, and regrettably frequently is, abused as we look into its mysteries. In a world where spiritual practices can easily become commodified, the third eye is no exception. Countless books, courses, and workshops claim to help you open your third eye, often for a hefty fee. While there's nothing inherently wrong in seeking guidance, it's important to be discerning. Not all sources have your best interests at heart, and some may offer misleading or even harmful advice. The commercialization of the third eye concept has led to many misconceptions. It's often presented as a quick fix solution to various life problems, a shortcut to spiritual enlightenment, or a way to gain supernatural powers. This trivializes the profound nature of the third eye and can lead individuals to unrealistic expectations and disappointments. The key here is to approach third eye practices with a critical mind. Do your research, understand the history and the philosophy behind these practices. And most importantly, listen to your intuition. If something feels off, it probably is. Balancing the third eye with other aspects of life. Having explored the potential pitfalls, let's now discuss how to balance third eye practices with other aspects of life. True spiritual growth is about harmony, not just within ourselves, but also with the world around us. Integrating your third eye practices into your daily life is essential in a way that supports, not disrupts, your overall well-being. This means balancing your spiritual pursuits with your responsibilities, relationships, and health. One effective way to achieve this balance is by incorporating grounding practices into your routine. Activities like walking in nature, engaging in physical exercise, or even simple breathing exercises can help you stay connected to the present moment and the physical world. Maintaining a healthy social life is important ensuring that your spiritual journey complements your relationships rather than isolating you. Remember, the goal of opening the third eye or any spiritual practice should be to enrich your life, adding depth and understanding, not to detach you from the realities of everyday living. Alternatives to third eye practices. When we near the end of our exploration, it's essential to recognize that the path to spiritual growth and self-discovery isn't limited to just third eye practices. Numerous other approaches can offer similar benefits and may be more suitable or comfortable for different individuals. Let's briefly explore some alternatives that resonate with you. Mindfulness and meditation in various forms are powerful practices for cultivating awareness and inner peace. They don't necessarily focus on the third eye, but offer many mental and emotional benefits. With its blend of physical postures, breathing exercises, and meditation, yoga provides a holistic approach to well-being. Studying philosophical or spiritual texts can be enlightening for those interested in a more intellectual path. Others may find solace in nature, artistic expression, or volunteer work which can be deeply fulfilling and spiritually enriching. The key is to find a practice that aligns with your personality, lifestyle, and spiritual goals. It's perfectly fine to explore various paths and combine different practices. Remember, the journey is personal and unique to each individual. The ultimate goal is to find a path that leads to a deeper understanding of yourself and the world in a way that feels right for you. Conclusion. When we conclude our journey into the dark truths about opening the third eye, let's recap the key points we've uncovered. We've explored the historical and cultural significance of the third eye, its allure, and the potential psychological and physical impacts. We've looked into the spiritual risks, the misuse and abuse of the concept 
and the importance of maintaining balance in our lives. And we've discovered many paths to spiritual growth and personal enlightenment. This exploration is not an end, but a beginning, a starting point for your journey of self-discovery and understanding. Whether pursuing third eye practices or another path, the most important thing is approaching your journey with mindfulness, balance, and a critical mind. Always listen to your intuition and body and seek harmony in all aspects of your life. Remember, the path to enlightenment is as unique as you are. Grab your journey with an open heart and an open mind. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. May your journey be filled with insight, balance, and profound growth.